Alright, so here's our prototype so far. We have two battery level indicators right here. Uh, they're just mapped to the second right now. Um, may or may not change that later on. We have one status LED, uh, which is red for the motor running forwards uh, and green when the motor is running backwards and regaining energy. We have our little servo hooked up to a pencil currently. Uh, this will be our arm for the speedometer. And we have, of course, our gas and brake pedal. So I'm just going to reset it to get the cameras back up. So the way this works is it's actually mapped. The speeds are mapped to a Tesla Roadster. So as I hit the gas, see the speedometer moving up. There's going to be a scale on it. Um, it's going. It's got a little coasting speed, so it'll slowly drop as we go on. Hit the brake. Green light comes on. And as you see, there's been a jump in the battery. This is the regenerative battery, and this is the regular battery. So you see there's a little bit of a difference now. So as you go some more, break a little bit, tiny bit of jump, keep going. You'll see uh, Tesla Roadster breaks 60 to 0 in 113 feet, which works out to about 2.45 seconds. So I slam on the brakes, one, two and a half. So Mapped pretty accurately uh, as well. It's got 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. So you gun it. 2, 3, 4. Yeah, just about right. Um, it's all in the programming. You see here, I'll break again. The battery jumps up again. Uh, we're going to do actual calculations for this, but right now it's just kind of showing that it recognizes when the brake's initially pressed and then when it's let go and then it sees that it calculates the difference between the velocities and from that you can calculate how fast you're going, how far you traveled and uh, eventually hopefully capture how much energy you saved. So that's a prototype so far. Uh, I've yet to add the motor and the LCD but those are to come next.